In this video, I'm going to teach you how to play Code of the Lamb Co-op. It's a very easy process, so make sure to follow along. Playing Code of the Lamb Co-op is extremely simple. This was officially introduced into the game with the Unholy Alliance update. So, you will only be able to do local co-op natively if you have the Unholy Alliance update installed. So, if you haven't updated your game, look for the update on your preferred storefront. Once you acquire the Unholy Alliance update, all that you have to do is start Code of the Lamb, and something that I need to make very clear is that currently you will only be able to do multiplayer co-op officially through local gameplay, meaning that you and your friend need to be playing on the same console or network. If you want to do this online, sadly it's not going to be possible. I'm going to give you an alternative if you are playing through Steam later on in this video, but first, to play co-op locally, all that you have to do is start a save and make sure that you complete the tutorial. Once you are done, pause the game at any point and you will find the option to add a co-op player. If this option is grayed out or if it doesn't appear, it's probably because you still need to connect a controller to your platform. So connect a controller to your console or PC and once you have an additional controller or even an additional mouse and keyboard for PC, you will be able to choose this option and assign one player to, as the GOAT and another one as the main character. So just drag the specific controller or keyboard and mouse combo that you connected and once they are properly assigned to each character you will be able to start. You and your friend can now explore dungeons together, fight enemies, build structures and grow your code. Like I said, this co-op mode is local only officially but there is sort of a workaround to do it online. If you are playing through Steam, you can open the Steam overlay by pressing shift plus tab and choose the Steam remote play option. This is going to pretend that you both are playing on the same network, on the same platform, but it is going to do it online. So as long as you have a good network connection, you will be able to stimulate playing together. And this is all you have to do. I hope I was able to help you on how to play Code of the Lamb co-op. If this video helped you, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more very easy tips. Thank you for watching.